Hi and welcome to an improved Excel data entry form. Let me show you guys how this works. First of all, I'm going to click Reset. We can search with any of this column. We can even search with members fees. Okay, let's look for the member with maybe let's go for 31 pounds plus. That's 31. 25p click there we go that's sally south end okay we have one sally south end there and in here as we can see we seems to have a lot of tommy 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 and tommy right there so let's search for one of the details of tommy let's come right here let's say we use tommy's reference number which is four six three seven there search there we go that's Tommy we can delete that particular criteria that or record that we just searched click on delete that is it that very Tommy is gone but we still seems to have more Tommy's here so we can delete them that's three so search get rid of that and let's search for other candidates here. Let's search for maybe Sky. There we go. Sky is details in there. And one thing that we can do with this very Excel data entry form is we can even print. Unfortunately, I don't have any printer on my system, so I'm going to cancel there. Okay, one other thing that we can do is we can clear the old system and add new record. Let's assume the reference number is that and the name happens to be Kingsley. And the surname is Wills. Address of Kingsley Wills. Let's say number 10. Queen's Park. London. And the postcode all right and telephone number registration date let's make that 01 08 2020 proof of ID is a student and is a quarterly member which means he's paying about 30 something pounds if we look at our records here, we don't have anybody called Kinsley. So have a good look at it. So we will now add Kinsley on board. So click on add. There we go. And let's go right down. We should be able to see Kinsley's details there. One other good thing about this project is if we go straight onto the workbook, that's Kinsley's details. I'm going to exit out from here. The reason being, just to prove to you that this system is protected, we cannot enter any details. We cannot enter any details directly onto the workbook or the spreadsheet itself because it's protected. So click on OK. So to reopen it, I'm going to go back to the development tab. Let's come in here. If you want to work on it, you then have to enter the password. There, click on OK. And then open up this workbook there. And you can run it. There we go. And carry out another search. Let's assume I want to search for. Let's come in here and use a postcode. Seven. Three. Y H H J Sash there. So this is an overview, and I'll see you guys shortly with the full tutorial.